Hello everyone, I welcome you all to one more session wherein we will be discussing a question of cat level difficulty. So today I bring a question from time, speed and distance topic for all of you. You can pause the video here, try out this question yourself and uh, then we shall discuss the question. Right? You can listen to the discussion that happens. I would anyways be starting the discussion right away. Let's get started with the uh, discussion here. So the question says, Jaswant and Vikrant, let's call them as J and V, work in the same office. The distance that Vikrant travels to each office is three-fourth of the distance that Jaswant travels. So, for example, if Jaswant travels, if I say 4D, Vikrant will travel 3D, three-fourth of that. Jaswant is 50% faster than Vikrant. So, for that, that would mean if I take Vikrant's speed as 2S kilometers per hour, Jaswant is going to be 3S, 50% more. That means 3S kilometers per hour. If both start at the same time and Jaswant reaches office 20 minutes before Vikrant, find the time taken by Jaswant to reach office. Okay, let me look at this. So, let's say this is where Vikrant lives. Okay, this is the office. And this is where Jaswant lives, second case, and this is the office. So, you have taken Jaswant's distance as 4D units and Vikrant then will be 3D units. Vikrant travels at 2S speed, 2S kilometers per hour or kilometers per minute, right, or meters per second. So, I am not even mentioning the units right now. Uh, some so many units of distance per, per so many units of time. I am not even mentioning the units currently. So, 2s and just one is traveling at 3s. <clears throat> okay. Then he says, uh, if both start at the same time. So, that means in this case, in the first, in the case of Vikrant, time taken will be, time taken by Vikrant will be the distance traveled by the speed. Okay. So many minutes because everything is given in minutes. 20 minutes time difference, we will take it as minutes. And here in this case, time taken by just one will be distance by speed. So many minutes. Now it is given to us that the difference in the times of their arrival, or rather, it is given that just one reaches 20 minutes before Vikrant. So that means time taken by Vikrant minus time taken by just one should be equal to 20 minutes, which is 3 by 2 into d by s minus. 4 by 3 into d by s is 20. So, we can take out d by s common. 3 by 2 minus 4 by 3 is 20. d by s, when you simplify, 1 by 6 is 20. Hence, we will get the value of d by s as 120. Everything was in minutes. So, I write minutes only. So, 120 minutes is d by s. But this is not the question. The question was find time taken by just one to reach office. So, time taken by just one was this much. So, hence can I say my answer, I will write it here. It is going to be 4 by 3 into d by s, which happens to be 120, which is 4 into 40, which is 160 minutes. So, option choice B is going to be the correct answer. Right? A very direct question from time, speed, distance, but the manner in which the information is given so, it had some percentages involved in it, right? Uh, some fractions, some ratios involved in it, right? So, that is what could make it slightly, right? Not a difficult question, but could make it a moderate level question. But otherwise, it's a very, very direct question if you look at it. All right? And see, time speed distance is one of the <coughs> important topics that we come across in, your, in our competitive exams, right? So, from that point of view, also practicing more of this. Having a better understanding of this topic is definitely helpful. I hope you would have followed the question here that we have discussed. Uh, for more questions like this, please do subscribe our channel. Right? Follow us for more such content, right? for more such questions. We release uh, questions on a weekly basis. Right? So, every time you can uh, try out those questions which are actually CAT level questions. All right? uh, the past year papers which have been replicated and all. Right? So, that way your preparation can be even better. On that note, let me end the session here. Thank you and all the very best.